You know, one of the things that I think is going to happen to every human being, at some point, you're going to look back on your life and you're going to have regrets. The young person lives sort of like an astronaut. You know, you're just, every day, you're, you're launching into new worlds and it's a world of possibility. At some point in life, Every human being becomes an archaeologist and you dig into the mound of your existence and you try to make sense out of that and you realize you are not the person that you wanted to be. There's not a human being, no matter how spiritual, that at some point hasn't been disappointed with God. A horrible accident, a loss of a job, the rebellion of one of our children, physical illness, a disappointment in a friendship, huge financial debt that we never thought, where we're asking the question, what is God doing? My disappointment begins to get revealed by cynicism about life, irritation with circumstances. I begin to flag in my godly habits. I'm not so excited about reading my Bible. I'm not so excited about my small group. I maybe even begin to entertain doubts with God. I may distance myself from the people of God. All of those things that I'm doing are revealing that at some level I'm disappointed with what God has brought into my life. Think about this. If this life that I'm living now is not a destination, but a preparation for a final destination, then it changes the way I think about what God is doing. We all long for the grace of relief. We all long for the grace of release because there are hard things that all of us are facing. Those difficulties for a believer are not signs of God's unfaithfulness and inattention. They are signs of His grace, His love, His faithfulness, His patience. He brings things into my life that I wouldn't have chosen. Here's the principle. God will take you where you do not want to go in order to produce in you what you could not achieve on your own. We have got to begin to comfort one another with the theology of uncomfortable grace. And so, in midlife, I face the grace of aging, the grace of regret, the grace of disappointment. But it's all grace. It's not God who's tired of me and turning his back on me. This is God coming near to me and saying, there is still more refinement that needs to take place. And so, I'm going to take you where you would not have chosen to go, in order to produce in you what you could not achieve on your own. So I don't have to be afraid of life. I can move toward life with eyes open, with ears listening, with brain working, with heart engaged, and be unafraid because God's with me.